Okay, now you just have to go to this site pcsx2.net. Okay, this is the official page of PS2 emulator. Just hover your mouse to this download button here and then choose the Windows option. Okay, now I scroll down here. Then you can just download the first one here. Just press on download here. I have already downloaded the same set of files, so I'll just cancel it. Right now we have got the bias and the set of file. Inside the bias file, you can see all these files here. Okay, we'll need it later. Just close it for now. Now for the first step that you have to install this PCXX2 emulator. Okay, this is solid. Choose the normal installation. Okay, now press on next. Next. Okay, we can choose the directory and then press install. Okay, let's run the PCXX2. Finish. Okay. Now for the first time, just select your language. You can choose here English, United States. Okay, apply. Now it will restart. Look here. Okay, now just press on next. Now you can see the plugins. The plugins are already included with the PS2 emulator setup file. So we don't have to do anything here, right here. Okay, just press on next. Okay, now it gives you the option to select the BIOS. Okay, just press in open in explorer here. Now it will give you this window. Okay, let's minimize it. Okay. Now go to your, okay, sorry. Okay. Now go to your bias file on the desktop. Okay, let me see the bias folder. Okay, it's here. Now go inside it. Now we have to copy these all files. Control A, Control C. Now go to that directory once again. We have got here, okay. Where is that directory? Look, look here, we have got this directory. On this directory, you have to paste those bias files. Okay, I'll just paste it, Control V. Now we have done this, okay. Okay, now on this window, just press on the refresh list. Now you'll get the bias files loaded. You can choose any bias file. I'll choose the USA. And then now let's finish this setup. So this is the log window. We can close it. Okay, now we have got this clean window of PCSX2. Now we have to configure here one thing more. That is the gamepad or joystick that you'll use to play the PS2 games. Okay. Just go to this config button and then go to the controllers pad. Okay. And then go to the plugin settings. Now go to the pad one. Now this represents the player one for your PS2 game. I'm gonna show you firstly which buttons are compulsory. Okay, these buttons are compulsory. Look here. You have to compulsorily configure these buttons on your keyboard. Now I'm gonna show you how to configure it. It's very easy. Okay. Now let's configure the shoulder buttons first. Okay, to configure these buttons, you have to press on any button. Okay, just press on L1 here. Now you have to press any button from the keyboard that you want that button to be the L1. Okay, I'll just press on 1 to be the L1 button. Now L2, I'll press the 2 to be the L2 button. Now for R1, I'll press the, I'll press the 9 button. And for R2, I'll press the 0 button. Now shoulder buttons are configured now for the d-pad that is up left right down i'm going to like that okay just press up and then press on the up and on the keyboard now down press down left left right right now let's configure now these buttons are configured just press on apply here and then press on ok so now finally we can load the game now just go to cdgbd option and then go to iso we have selected the iso option here and then go to iso selector Okay, sorry sorry okay iso selector and then go to browse here okay now from the desktop directory that we have the game go to this folder and then choose the disk image file of this okay now let's again recheck it okay you can see we have selected the game now the final step that is go to system and then we can choose either the boot iso full boot iso fast okay let's do the full option for now so that we can get the ps2 intro also okay press okay now it's gonna load you can see it's awesome it's awesome okay thanks